All right, we're gonna do a comparison between Ben's car, who has the 150 kilowatt supercharger update. My car does not, both long range rear wheel drive Model 3s. Oh, look at all that coal rolling from that truck. All right, so we're at 5% on this car. 5%, here 5%. let's plug him in. This one of... Locks open. Yep. Okay, three, two, one. All right. We think we found the culprit of why that car stopped charging. My this screen is very cracked. Right, and so I think it's been phantom touching today, and I think when, when you I went to check the charge level, it phantom touched and hit stop. But we got it started within less than a minute, yeah. so let's just let's just say one minute of time. Mm -hmm. But we're also at the high level of charging where it's not really important anymore. What matters is down low. Right, right. So we've already learned really what we need to know, but. Still good to go to 90%. <laughs> Biggest surprise so far is how quickly the 120 kilowatt speed catches back up to the car that's charging at right. 145. Like this had a 7 or 8% lead, almost a 10 kilowatt hour difference. We'll have to go back and review the, the footage, which is amazing for road trips because when Ben and I take a lot of road trips in Teslas, we always pull in at 3, 5, maybe 7%, and we rip the charging until it tapers. And that this is perfect for that. But if you daily supercharge your car, which, sorry about your battery, but if you daily supercharge your car and you go up to 90%, it's not gonna make that much of a difference, at least from this test. I mean, from all we can tell is a 5% a to 90% charge is about the same. Yep. Same strategy as ever, pull in at about eight, leave it about 50. <laughs> 